it is regrettable and unfortunate that <laughs> we live in a country and we have it has to get to this point where organized labor would have to be fighting to protect the life of even the politician and the rich greedy man who is compromising um, his own safety and security who have to be fighting i mean it is so clear that that we are dying um, if we don't do things well we are told very soon will be important water everybody knows everybody can see the destruction of our water bodies and what is so scary um over the weekend i was um, discussing this matter with my own secretary who is a chemist the kinds of things that he's telling me that the water bodies have already been polluted with heavy metals and those heavy metals it is difficult for us to take them out of the uh, water bodies as for the mud and those things yes it will cost us a lot of money to be able to um, take them out but we can do it but how about the heavy metals and you ask yourself so are there no wise and sensible people in the country who know this that it has to take labor to be thinking about what to do don't we have leaders are the leaders not aware of some of these dangers and must we always fight government mm. for the right thing to be done has the government itself no appreciation okay of what is right so, I so mean, it, is, it is worrying and and you talk about these things and they say but you should also be dealing with opposition and i think it's a national issue and it is a certain group of people who have been given the fiduciary responsibility to act. They have the uh, monopoly over the instrument of force and the coercive apparatus of the state. Okay, so they at this particular point in time must act. And that is all we are asking for. And, okay. Uh, asking for this sort of, you know, this is not even about salary increment for government to say to that, look, you people, you are doing something too much and we don't have the money. This is about um, a threat, existential threat to humanity. That we are all dying. And if we are all dying, don't we have the sense to protect ourselves? I am I, it is it is so worrying and so so and you hear some of the arguments that people who are supposed to be learned are uh, 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 canvassing just because they are doing partisan politics. Mm. So over prof- over the week I have heard I'm told a medical doctor on <laughs> air saying that the water bodies only got compromised just about a month ago. When somewhere in November 2022, we had the managing director of Ghana Water Company writing or giving interviews to complain about the destruction and pollution of our water bodies. This man, medical doctor, is saying that the water bodies got compromised just about uh, one month ago and that some people, the opposition actually imported um, foreigners and asked them to go mine in water bodies just to make the government unpopular. And I'm asking that if you are in government and you have all the power and authority and you look on, you have evidence that the opposition has actually gone to rent or to recruit or to hire foreigners to come and destroy our water bodies. What did you do to stop that? Have you arrested those who are compromising our water bodies? If you have this information and you don't, you don't do anything about that, then you have no business being in government. Okay. It is so upset and upset that, you see, Partisan politics is a bane to quality educational outcomes. Excessive partisan politics breeds madness because some people have been educated. But you can see, just because of partisan politics, they suddenly cannot think right. They suddenly cannot behave well. Just because of partisan politics, they talk as if they are mad.